Um, thanks for the introduction of Tsinghua University. Our work is an in-depth study of commercial mobile virtual network operator. Nowadays, almost every one SIM card of base carrier. Here, here's about base carriers. Since only legal licenses to exclusively use certain frequencies of the radio spectrum, some people are like Bob. Uh, they, worry, they worry about the telecommunication market monopoly. If all the base carriers in your country raise prices, you have no choice um, but to accept it. Some other people, like Alice, are concerned about the service quality of base carriers because there are only several base carriers in one country, and they have little commercial competition. They still want more customers, which to prove those problems. Mobile virtual network operators have emerged. For example, Lycon Mobile, founded in international costs to over 15 million customers. Trackphone is the representative of which is a wireless communications brand used by eight independent brand licenses worldwide. You can use their SIM cards, but they don't have their own radio infrastructures. Virtual operators fully or partially leverage one or multiple base carriers licensed radio spectrum and facilities. In China, virtual operators have emerged for only several years. There are Xiaomi Mobile, Snail Mobile, Sony Mobile, and so on. Then, you may be curious about the specific benefits that virtual operators bring to us. So am I. We take some research to understand why virtual operators? Here, we have four reasons. The first one, virtual operators offer cheaper and more flexible data plans than base carriers. Uh, the second one, competition in telecommunication market. And third, they can enhance the utilization of base carriers infrastructures. And finally, Although virtual customers still have some concerns, after we find that they are mainly bothered by network performance. Per price than base carriers. Hence, there is a question, how does it make money? For some virtual operators, they can get low wholesale prices from their base carriers by business negotiations. However, there are some other virtual operators, um, their base ca carriers don't give them the wholesale price, such as in China. Virtual operators cannot get the wholesale prices. So here, we focus on Xiaomi Mobile, which is a Xiaomi Mobile was founded in September 2015. It has about 1 million customers up to a space carrier is China Telecom, which is one of the We made a nearly two-year measurement study towards operator ecosystem, including its architecture. with the base carrier. This is the its customers and the China Telecom. Here we use Vmobile, Vmobile, and SUR instead of Xiaomi Mobile, China Telecom, and the state update report for confidence in the picture. In upper branch, per the, per the agree, agreement between Xiaomi Mobile and its base carrier, they establish a control plane channel between their accounting centers, allowing the base carrier to forward Xiaomi Mobile users state update reports, which we call B-Mobile SURs, to Xiaomi Mobile. In the base carrier, 
B-mobile SURs are gathered and propagated by space stations. Another way of delivering state update reports is illustrated. In the bottom branch, Xiaomi Mobile customers can optionally install an app developed by Xiaomi Mobile. When the app is running, it keeps monitoring the client device's data usage and uploading state update reports, which we call app SURs directly to Xiaomi Mobile's accounting center. Um, to enable our large-scale measurement, we connect five data sets. The first one, BBS data set, which consists of about 12,000 posts from the bulletin board system maintained by Xiaomi Mobile. Uh, the second one, user data set, which includes all customers' basic information, such as the gender, birthday, and the date of joining and leaving Xiaomi Mobile. Monthly data set, which refers to each user's monthly data plan, payment, data usage, and account balance information. The performance data set, which comprises the network performance statistics of 342 Xiaomi Mobile users and the 250 China Telecom users who opted, who opted in to help us connect detailed network performance data. SUR data set, which is the set of two types of state update reports that are collected from Xiaomi Mobile's accounting center. Next, we analyze those data sets and have some findings. Two tables here compare the specific data plans offered by both carriers, from which we find that Xiaomi Mobile customers can indeed save a portion which is ranging from 1.1% to 2.4% of money. Although the economic incentives seem weak, there are still about 1 million customers. It indicates that virtual operator users are quite price conscious. Um, here are another findings about virtual operators. The picture on the left is the, is the relationship between gender and data plan selection. We find that women users take the majority. This is, a, this is in line with a recent study showing females tend to be heavier smartphone users compared to males regarding the age distribution as shown in the figure on the right. Most of Xiaomi Mobile customers are younger than 30 with the exception where the four gigabyte data plan holders are dominated by people between 30 and 39 who are presumably more financially sound. From 2016 to 2017, the ratio of users younger than 30 increased by 1.7%. Um, furthermore, here are two pictures about the relationship between users' selected data plan and the users' monthly actual usage. Both of them indicate that customers typically underutilize their data plans. Most users are conservative with their data usage, so that's the key point that virtual operators can take advantage of it to make profits. In order to help virtual operators to make more profits, the first step is to predict each user's data usage. Moreover, this step can also enable numerous use cases such as data plan recommendation, cellular infrastructure planning, and cost-aware content perfection, and so on. Here we use five different machine learning methods to predict each user's data usage. And the choose the method, which is using SVR with RBF kernel with outline filtering, it achieves an overall prediction accuracy of up to 86.75% across users. Then, we use the statistical uncertainty modeling to improve the result of data prediction. In particular, for users with a short lifetime, their data usage prediction is inherently difficult due to a lack of training samples. So it's important to perform uncertainty model then recall that a virtual operator user oftentimes doesn't use up her subscribed data plan, so the virtual operator can purchase an inferior plan from base carrier to fulfill it and utilize the price difference to make profits. Our goal here is to make the selection of the fulfill plan more intelligent in order to increase the profit for the virtual operator. After those complicated steps to optimize the data resealing, it looks good, in theory. But how does it work? To assess the effectiveness of the method, 
we apply it to the historical usage data of Xiaomi Mobile users between January 2016. To optimize the reselling profit for the billing cycle of November 2017, there is a key evaluation metric here. A higher profit rate is always pre preferred by Xiaomi Mobile. We compare four optimization methods here. Obviously, the third one makes the highest profit rate, and the profit rate of the optimum is only 12.7% higher than our method's profit rate. Since virtual operators provide flexible services with low prices, some people have doubt that do virtual operators provide worse network performances than their base carriers? So here we make a an measurement and analyze those data surprisingly we find that there's no noticeable network performance difference between Xiaomi Mobile and its base carrier. This is distinct from previous reports where virtual operator users may suffer from performance degradations compared to the base carrier users. Our results indicate that the performance degradation reported by prior studies is very likely a policy level result by the base carrier rather than a technical necessity. From a virtual operator's perspective, there is a problem which we cannot ignore. If virtual operators want to seize in the market, they should pay more attention to customer churn because of the high expense that a carrier needs to recruit new customers. In order to mitigate the customer churn of virtual operators, we use sex machine learning methods to predict the customer churn. Then we evaluate the prediction accuracy using tenfold cross-validation based on users. Here are the results, and, the, and this table indicates that the random forest model outperforms the others, and it achieves 95.52% precision and 94.45% recall. Since the method has good results, how about using it in the real world? So we conduct a field trial for churn mitigation in late October 2017 by collaborating with Xiaomi Mobile. This is the result of it. The dropout probability exhibits a bimodal distribution where nearly 98% of the users have a churn probability near zero and 1% of the users have a churn probability near one. We select the top 1% of the users with the highest dropout probability and I recommend uh, Xiaomi Mobile sends to each of them a digital gift card containing a small amount of top-up fee and the gift card can only be activated next month. After conducting this churn mitigation campaign, Xiaomi Mobile observed that the churn rate decreased significantly from 0.83% in October 2017 to 0.32% in November. November 2017. This indicates the potential effectiveness of our churn prediction approach. About the inaccurate billing in virtual operators, there are three key issues. Termination of service despite a positive account balance, unexpectedly high monthly change experienced by customers, unexpectedly high charge experienced by virtual operators. To understand the root causes of the above issues, we carefully analyze the state update report data set because these issues are mainly caused by the state update propagation delay, inter-accounting centers delay, or both of them. Here we can see that state update, update propagation delay ranges from several seconds to two and a half hours and averages at nearly 16 minutes, the delay between two accounting centers ranges from one second to 4.3 minutes with an average of around two minutes. For issue one, at the time when the cellular service was terminated by the virtual operator, the user's account balance had indeed increased to zero or negative at base carrier's accounting center. However, the B-Mobile SUR had not yet been propagated to Xiaomi Mobile's accounting center due to the high delay between them. For issue two, at the end of the previous month, due to the high propagation delay, a small portion of the B-Mobile SURs arrived late 
at the Xiaomi Mobile's accounting center. So Xiaomi Mobile was not able to add them to the previous month's bill. Instead, they were then added to the current month's bill, making it look unreasonable. For the final issue, we owe it to the excessive delay between two accounting centers, specifically after a Xiaomi Mobile's user switches to a different data plan, the subscription is not always delivered from Xiaomi Mobile's accounting center, its um, accounting center, its base carrier's accounting center in real time when the inter-accounting center channel is congested. As a result, before, before the new data plan actually takes effect at base carrier, the user's subscription will experience in inconsistency between Xiaomi Mobile and its space carrier. This inconsistency will be reflected on the next, next bill that base carrier sends to Xiaomi Mobile. And finally, I want to make a summary of our work. In general, we conduct an in-depth study of Xiaomi Mobile, which is a large and representative uh, virtual operator with one million customers. And our work includes data plan and the usage characterization, net network performance characterization, data resetting, optimization, customer churn profiling and mitigation, and finally, understanding and accurate billing issues. And that's all, thank you. Thank you.